During the gestation period, the fetus develops and grows by gaining the glucose, amino acid, fats, water, and oxygen it needs from the mother's blood. The blood runs opposite each other, never mixing in the placenta. The fetus's blood connects to and from the placenta by the umbilical cord. Now, the mother's blood also absorbs the waste from the fetus blood in the placenta. Substances like carbon dioxide and urea are removed from the fetus's blood so that they do not build up to dangerous levels. Movement of all molecules across the placenta occur by diffusion due to difference in concentration gradient. The placenta is adapted for this diffusion by having a large surface area and a thin wall for efficient diffusion. The placenta acts as a barrier to prevent toxins and pathogens getting in the fetus's blood. Not all toxic molecules or pathogenic organisms are stopped from passing through the placenta. This is why pregnant women are advised not to smoke during pregnancy. After the baby has been born, the umbilical cord is cut. This does not hurt as there are no nerves, only two blood vessels. It is tied off to prevent bleeding and shrivels up and falls off after a few days, leaving the belly button behind. The placenta de detaches from the uterus wall shortly after birth and is pushed out due to contractions in the muscular wall of the uterus. This is known as after birth.